Good morning. This is a very special stove on June 16th, 2011. The stove belongs to a man from northern Saskatchewan. And he asked that I take a video to show people just how beautiful his stove is. It's a 30 inch wildfire which means the steel barrel is 30 inches long. And I'll see if I can show you that it says wildfire elm on the back casting of the stove. I'm working out in the very bright sunshine so I can't tell until I get it on the computer what it's going to look like. It's a piece of soapstone on the griddle round cooktop has two cooking surfaces the elm tree the door handle and the ash apron are all plated in polished brass the tie rods it actually has and I don't know if this will show or not some conventional threaded tie rods with a brass tubing covering it half an inch in diameter brass acorn nuts brass bolts to hold the cooktops in place brass hinge pins beautiful cherry knobs as always and opening the door I will show you the the air wash and I'm not sure if you will be able to see with the light the steel box beam. The secondary combustion happens in the top of the stove underneath the stainless baffle. The air is provided from that uh, pipe that you saw in the back of the stove to the uh, 2 inch by 3 inch box beam. Once again, a view of the inside of the door. I'm going to keep this short. More people are likely to watch the video if I keep it short, they tell me. This is a beautiful stove. It will have warming shelves. We're waiting for some new warming shelves to show up from the foundry, hopefully fairly soon and I promise you I will get photographs of those just as soon as they're available and of course the stove gets lined with fire brick I didn't do that today because it made it more difficult to set up and move around but you've seen the fire bricks lining the bottom half of the stove before and we will finish with a nice front on view of the elm tree and the word the word uh, wildfire elm at the bottom. Thank you very much for watching.